We call it the Yukpik weekend. Basically, a crew comes up here um, and spends two to three nights on the ice. Um, you'll have an interpreter who goes with you. They teach how to camp either in the Boundary Waters or Superior National Forest. Really the first things we do is we check gear and we make sure that they're properly outfitted. The first night you get to pick all your activities for the weekend. This weekend I went skiing, snowshoeing, and Quincy building. Quincy's are snow structures that you can use to stay warm and dry. We love the snow, it's what helps us travel in the winter, but at the end of the day, sometimes you really just want to snuggle into a big home-like structure. Quincy's are perfect for that. Well, outside it probably got to about negative 20 degrees, whereas inside the Quincy it was probably 25 or 30 degrees. For me, traveling through winter environments is like the best part of the day. It was this one night uh, we were out and I happened to look up at the sky and it was just National Geographic level uh, northern lights. Ran around to all my campers and said, you gotta get up, you gotta get up, you gotta look at the northern lights. I got to ride in a dog sled, which was a lot of fun. Last year I took a crew out from Florida that had never seen snow before, and we went out for the weekend. Uh, we got the Zero Hero patch, so it got down to below zero, and by the end of the weekend everybody had a great time. My favorite part of the trip was uh, building the Quincy, building and sleeping in something that I made. As long as you keep moving, doing something, it's a ton of fun.